Well, between camping and cooking out and motorcycle riding and stuff like here, out there, I hadn't been getting a lot of work done, seems like, in the shop here lately. And today I'm going to repent. I'm going to repent of my sins and I'm going to try to get a little work done out there. You see that pretty little red Volkswagen is sitting with the grass growing up around it. And then here you see the motor that I was working on because I wanted to get this motor runnable and put it in that Volkswagen. And uh, it's runnable now, but I want to put the air uh, fan back on here and get a generator on it. And I got a gas tank here that I got from Dead Eye, lawnmower gas tank. You might have seen Musty One. He put something like this on that motor he put in his van. I want to hang that on here so I can crank this motor and have it be cooling and running while it's on the bench so I can get some time to decide if I think this carburetor is going to work out. Because if it's not, this may be over carbureted for this engine. And if it ain't going to work out, I'm going to need to change this manifold. It's a lot easier to do here than it is once it's in the car. And put a different carburetor on there and make sure it's good. Once I'm once I got everything working, it's all good. I can turn the key and crank it and kind of take that clutch apart, put it back together, make sure it's all good. Then I can uh, oh, I, and I got to redo the heater boxes. I got these head bolts that I was thinking about that uh, are uh, some of these exhaust manifold thingies are leaking. So I want to address that. So I guess I got a lot of a lot of little things I want to do on this. Once it's all done and good to go. I can poke it in that Volkswagen and then I can at least drive it enough to move it around here. I was thinking I'd leave that gas tank hooked to it, that gas tank right there, the lawnmower gas tank. Put the gas lines and tank, gas tank, and that one's going to need to be cleaned out. The gas lines are going to be, need to be replaced and uh, brake lines and rust repair and a whole lot of little things. So I guess I'll spend the day working on this motor and kind of see what kind of progress I can make toward having it be a, uh, a turnkey engine. Okay, one of the things I want to do, this exhaust system is not made for the car that I'm putting that in. Uh, this is, and it's a good bit different, but all of this needs to come off. And the tricky part about this is these bolts here, oh, they tend to be really difficult to get off without breaking. Especially, uh, this is an aluminum head with a steel bolt that screwed into it and these ruin a lot. I asked uh, I asked Musty, you know, how does he usually get those off? He says he just cracks them apart, takes them off and re-threads these. That's probably my best bet. Rather than try to turn them this back, it's just about it's just about completely rusted away. Uh, yeah, so that's definitely gotta come off, so I gotta fix that. So that's kinda gotta be my project for today, I think, is just getting those bolts off of there, getting them loose, uh, preserving them. I'll show you a head over here if I can. Well, these have still got the exhaust pieces stuck to them, so I guess I can't show you that. I'll show you the other side of it, maybe. There's a couple of the bolts there that are intact. And I may wind up having to drill those out and replace them uh, on these things. to get started is to get started and let me see what we got to work with I guess. Okay, here's a realization that I'm quickly coming to out here, you know, contemplating Volkswagen engines and the red Volkswagen. And that's that I need to clean this place up. I need to clean this garage up and get all this junk kind of moved around and packed away. And I need to get that red Volkswagen in here because as I'm working on this, I'm thinking, well, let's see. This is going to take a while. I can poke that engine in there, then I can move it around, and then this, and then that. I'm thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. The whole point is I need to get that thing out of the yard, get it in a place where I can work on it. And I got these engines to work on, and it's not going to be quick. I'm not going to really throw something together really quick and poke it in there. It's going to take me a while to get it all right. And the big deal is I need to get that Volkswagen. Well, I guess I need to get it out of the yard, but I do. When snow comes, I don't want it sitting out there. I don't want to have to be snow plowing around it. I don't want it growing up in the grass. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, part one is going to be to clean up this mess. You know, get these engines. They're both on something that'll roll. So I get both these engines back here and kind of back out of the way. There's still room to get the bug in here because it's not very big. Get all these extra parts. If need be, I'll put all these extra Volkswagen parts out in the shed here until I sort out the parts I'm going to need. Um, 
and then move the rat rod, put the tow bar on the red bug, push it in here with the engines, and then at least I got everything in a good place where I can work on it. And if I want to poke this engine in it, I can. If I want to let it sit here till I get this engine ready to go in it, I can, because it's not sitting out in the weather, being in the way with the grass growed up around it. That just makes it look like a derelict. I don't like that. So with all that said, I guess I finally got my work cut out for me. It's funny, I've been walking around this morning doing this and doing that and starting this and starting that, not really finishing anything. And sometimes I can't get anything finished until I start something, and I can't start something until I walk around and think about it for a while. So I haven't thought about this for a while. I think I have a plan of attack, and I'm going to attack cleaning up this mess. That's the plan.